joined by the coach, Lee Corso, and the quarterback, Kirk Herbstreet. Those thin-blooded fans will have to wear layers today to watch the Kansas Jayhawks and the Kansas State Wildcats. Yes, it's the battle for the Governor's Cup, and we're thrilled to bring it. Kansas State is led by their running back. Now, I had a chance to talk to him about this game, and believe me, he is ready to run all over this defense. Coach, I expect him to have a big game on the ground. Nice pick, Kirk. I'm picking a wild pick. They'll go to work at the 24. We'll start the drive at the 24-yard line. First and 10. The defense sets up with five defensive linemen. Martinez with the give. Tries to juke. They'll bring him down. And they pick up two yards. Gain of two on the play. Kansas State is ranked near the bottom of the barrel as far as offense goes. Well, the numbers don't lie. They just can't move the ball. The defense lines up with six DB. He's going left. He's got it. And he's taken down. Nice decision by the quarterback. Not only was it good decision making, but the offensive line protected just long enough for him to find his target. And when you combine the two, it'll be a first down nine out of ten times. They line up in an eye. Boom. On the inside handoff. Juke move. He spins around. And they make the stop. Four yards on that play. On the run. Gain of four on the play. Second and six. Ball on the 42-yard line. The Wildcats set up in the gun. Set to go to the air. Throws it deep downfield. And it's incomplete. And he overthrew his wide receiver. I don't know too many seven-foot guys playing football, so maybe he should aim lower the next time. It's third down and six to go. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. Martinez back to throw. Throw short. Incomplete pass. And the wideout couldn't drag a foot. Yeah, but he showed really nice hands on that play. Four and six. Ball on the 42 yard line. Kansas State lining up the punt. back deep to return. Number eight punts it, and it's a good one. Arnold signals for a fair catch. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. And we'll get a chance to see if this offense can fare any better than their counterpart. They'll get the ball here at the 25. Kansas comes to the line with three wide. Bean back to pass. He steps up, looking, throws off his back foot, and it's caught, and they got him for a loss. They get a one-yard loss on that one. One-yard loss on the play. It's second down and 11 to go. Ball on their own 24. Going with the shotgun here. He drops back, steps up, looks. He's going to go for the home run. He's got it on the run. Now that was a good-looking play. The quarterback put it where his receiver could get it, and now they have a first down. What I like is the faith that this quarterback has in his receiver. He's not afraid to throw it downfield. First and ten. Ball on the 21. Bean has four receivers lined up here. Back to pass. Comes across the middle, brings it in, touchdown. What an athletic play by the wideout. This guy's one of the most athletic players I've seen all year. He realized in high school this guy was all state in football, basketball, and baseball. He's been making big plays his whole life. Yeah. 
and he hits the PAT. Less than two to go in our first quarter of play. The score, Kansas seven, Kansas State nothing. Kansas lines up for the kickoff. Vaughn and Noel back to return. Decent kick, looks to be returnable. Vaughn has it at the five. I don't know if you guys saw this, but the coach gave his offense quite a speech before he sent him out there. And let's not forget, they had some things clicking the last time out. He's probably just reminding them to finish the job this time. They'll start this drive at the 19-yard line. Nickel defense. They go with the run. Makes a move. Brought down. That was a pretty good run. Incredible effort there, running the football by this guy. It's first and ten. Ball on the 32-yard line. Four wide. Vaughn gets another hand. Wilson brings him down. That's a seven-yard gain. It's second down and three to go. Ball on the 39. There's a play fake. Throws this one out to the right. It falls incomplete. He just had too much on that one, Coach. The quarterback put everything he had into that one. The problem, it was inaccurate. We've got third and three here. Ball on their own 39. This defense is looking to their impact corner to make a play. He jukes it. Miller with a takedown. An impressive first down run, and man, he was flying. That was almost... <whistles> Adios, sweetheart. you got to take a good angle on this kid, or else he is gone. It's first and ten. Ball on the 50. They line up in the shotgun. Martinez to the air on first down. Complete, and they push him out. And they get five yards from that completion. Five yard gain on the one. And that'll be the end of the first quarter with our score. Kansas, seven. Kansas State, nothing. Second, Second down and five. This is the sixth play of this drive. Three wide outs here. They'll bring him down. Nothing going on that one. No game on the play. The defense will try to stop this third down as they were unsuccessful the first time on this drive. Kansas State lines up in a shotgun set. Vaughn again. He jukes. Big opening. There's a missed tackle. Is level. And that'll give him another first down. Excellent job there, Brad, of running the football. That was good execution by this offense. It's first and ten, and this is the eighth play of the drive. The Wildcats line up in an I formation. Play action. Great coverage, and it's intercepted. Oh, boy. I bet he knew as soon as he released that football that he shouldn't have made the throw. And that's the thing. When you're under that kind of pressure, it takes away that one split second you need to scan the area so you know where it's a safe throw. And that's why a pass rush is so Great. crucial yeah. to a defense. Ball it allows you to intercept those passes from the quarterback. Yeah. Kansas comes out in the shotgun. Cut up. Cut up. Cut. They'll throw on first down. Comes across the middle. And it's caught. Can't wrap him up. And down he goes. 
I like the defense that was called. They just didn't make the play on the ball. You're right. It wasn't necessarily bad defense. The offense just executed, and the result is a first down. First and 10. Ball on the 45-yard line. B comes to the line with three wide. He drops back. He's looking. He rolls out to the right. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. Second and long coming up here. Ball on their own 38. They'll bring in their dime package. Bean drops back, throws a lob pass out to the left, and they make the stop. What a catch. I'm surprised he was able to hang on to that one. People tend to think that guys play corner if their hands aren't good enough to play wide receiver. As we just saw, that's not always the case. Sometimes it's actually the opposite. Some guys play receiver instead of corner because they don't want to hit or tackle anybody. They're on the right side of the 50 as they start this drive. The Wildcat set up in the gun. Stopped behind the line. He appears to have been injured on the play. Second it's second down 13. now and 13 to go. Ball on the 37-yard line. They line up in the shotgun. Howard with a nice play fake. Short draw, complete, and he's taken down. The Wildcats are going to take a timeout, and that was their first timeout. On the 11, going in. The Wildcats with four receivers. It's a direct snap. He spins. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Kansas State takes a timeout. Second down and 12. Ball on the 13. They line up in an eye. Vaughn gets the ball. He hit and got away. And he's taken down. Four-yard gain by the back. This impact tailback would love nothing more than to have the ball in his hands right now. Knocked out of bounds. That'll be a loss of one. Number 17, lined up for the field goal. This should be a chip shot. It's up. And it's through the upright. So here's the Pontiac Drive summary to recap what just happened. Kansas State to kick this one off. Neal and Arnold deep to return. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. I'm sure the coach has talked to his team about not turning the ball over again in this possession. They'll set up shot at the 25. The defense lines up with six DBs. Bean steps back to pass. Aaron and out ball. It's intercepted. The defense now has two interceptions in the ball game. And that's two more than the quarterback wanted to throw. 
Now he's got to go back out there and play smarter football when the offense takes the field again. You're right, Coach. The quarterback has to be able to put that out of his mind and act like it never happened. Which one? First or second interception? I say both. The Wildcats line up with five receivers. Looking across the middle. Little shake and bake move. Tackle. Way to look it in. Nice catch. Sure was. He displayed some great hands there. Now we're looking at a first down. Spikes the ball. So it's second and ten. Ball right around midfield. Going with the shotgun here. Dropped back to pass with the throw. And it's caught. And they push him out. Seven yard play. Seven yard gain on the play. It's third down and three to go. Ball on the 45. It's a handoff to the right. Jets that one. They'll bring him down. So he's picked up a few on that run. Yeah, he did a nice job of using his blockers on that run. Really a nice read. Six DBs in the lineup. The spike will stop the clock. So it's second and ten. This is the sixth play of this drive. Howard lines up in the shotgun. Back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Look. Wants to throw outside. Incomplete. Oh, he could have had a big reception that time. Guys. Just let that one get away from his vision just for a split second. So another third down upcoming for the offense. Six DBs in the lineup. He drops back. He unloads it. And it's the senior. Couldn't get anything out of that. No game on the Kansas State ready to put this one away. Logan. And we've reached halftime here. The score at the break, Kansas 7, Kansas State 3. Kansas State will be kicking off to start the second half. Kicks it deep. Arnold fields it in the end zone. A little juke. Flag down, and I'm not sure when it was thrown. Let's find out. Clipper on the receiving team. That one's going to put him way back. You just can't block him player from behind like that or it's going to cost you. They'll go to work at the 12. The Hawks line up with four wideouts. Dean hands off right side. Huggins brings him down. The running back gets two on the carry. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 14-yard line. Tries to juke. He might have a chance. Bounces off the would-be tackler. Brought down. Hey, 
It's first and ten. Ball on their own 33. The Jayhawks come out showing three wide. Dean on first down. Throws this one out to the left. And it falls incomplete. He overthrew his tight end. I know the tight end has a little more height than the wideouts, but give me a break. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 33-yard line. Kansas lines up in a shotgun set. He tosses it short, and they couldn't hook up on that one. He had his wide out, but he couldn't hit him. When he misses, it's usually high, and that's something he's been working very hard with his coach on. It's third down and ten. This is the fifth play of this drive. Nickel defense. He steps up into coverage, and the defense has it. Not sure what the quarterback was looking at on that one. Yeah, it cost him. He just threw his third pick of the game. Fellas, you got to give credit to this defense. They're taking advantage of each and every mistake this quarterback is making. And they'll look to capitalize on the good field position here. Yuku Phelps with a takedown. Second and four. Ball on the 23-yard line. Kansas State sets up in the eye. Makes a move. And down he goes. Gain of a yard by the fullback. One yard gain on the play. It's third down and three to go. Ball on the 22-yard line. Kansas State will line up in a jumbo set here. On the ground with the tailback. He shoots it. Grant brings him down. And that one goes for a big, big first down. You know, every time you run the ball successfully like that, that defense starts to creep up a little bit. That's when you go to the air, my friend. Over the top. And since we're in the red zone, let's have a look at the numbers. Brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone. When performance matters the most. They're in the red zone again, but this time they should be thinking touchdown. Another run. He juked. And he's tackled. That's a three-yard pickup. Three-yard gain on the play. They line up in an eye. Vaughn on the inside handoff. He tries to spin. Tackle. Three yard gain by the running back. Three yard gain on the play. They set up in the shotgun here by the goal line. Keep an eye on the quarterback. I wouldn't be surprised to see a draw here. Good look at Ron as the halfback found the end zone. He sure did. He took the head up and boom. Hello. Touchdown. And he tacks on the extra point. Let's take a glance now for the Pontiac drive somewhere. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. 
Neal fields it in the end zone. We'll have to see now how the offense responds this time after throwing a pick on their last drive. They'll get the ball here at the 19-yard line. Three wideouts here. He's looking for his man. It falls incomplete. He was looking for his running back, but the pass just sailed on him. Second and 10, ball on the 19-yard line. Across the middle, complete. He's out of bounds. Nice decision by the quarterback. Not only was it good decision making, but the offensive line protected just long enough for him to find his target. And when you combine the two, it'll be a first down nine out of ten times. Dean comes to the line with three wide. He guns it to the left. And it's caught. Savage with a takedown. The play fake good for only a couple. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 45. A field goal is the difference as we head to the fourth quarter. It's second down and eight to go. Ball on the 45-yard line. The Hawks come out the shotgun. Back to pass. Throws it to the outside. And he's taken down. I like the defense that was called. They just didn't make the play on the ball. You're right. It wasn't necessarily bad defense. The offense just executed, and the result is a first down. And this defensive end is looking to get into that backfield. Hit as he throws. There he goes. And it's a whole new ball game. And for that young man, it's touchdown catch number two. Hey, this guy's really stepped up for his football team today. Well, it's obvious the coach wanted to get him involved in the game plan. It looks like it was a pretty smart move, too. And he hits the PAT. So with just over three minutes remaining in the fourth quarter, the score is Kansas 14, Kansas State 10. They're ready for the kick. No. Back deep to return. We should have a return on this one. Vaughn has it at the five. At the 30. He's hit and got away. They moved the ball very effectively on their last drive, which ended with a touchdown. The has been talking it over on the sideline trying to make some corrections. Let's see if they can stop them this time. They'll start this drive at the 40. The Wildcats set up in the gun. He drops back. Throws to the middle. It's tipped. Good job there by the defense to get a hand on it. It was, Kurt. But when you're going out for a pass and the ball is in the air, you need to go after it and come down with it. You just can't watch the defender bat it down. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 40-yard line. Five wide, Howard drops to throw, wants to throw outside, and they bring him down. Move those sticks. That's a first down. And a great catch, too. Did you see how he looked that one in? Well, there's no doubt about it. He can catch the football. First and ten, ball on the 32-yard line. Kansas has all their DBs in for this five wide. And he's hit hard. And they lose a couple there. 
It's second down and 12 to go. Ball on the 34-yard line. The Wildcats line up in an eye formation. Gets past the tackler. And down he goes at the 32-yard line. The running back gets two on the carry. Third down and 10 coming up. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. High formation here. Howard set to go to the air. He lobs it out to the right. Complete. Miller brings him down. Well, he caught it, but it's almost no yards gain. And now it's fourth down. Give props to the D here for coming up with a big stop on third down. Number 17 comes in to kick the field goal, and he's going to have to get a leg into this one. The kick is up, and it's right down the middle. Let him take a glance down from Pontiac Drive Center. And it looks like they're going to try an onside kick here. Here's the onside kick. They don't recover the onside, so they'll really be counting on their defense to come up with a turnover in order to win this thing. Well, this is the biggest series of the game. A stop here, and they're back in business. But if they give up a touchdown, it's all over. They'll take over at the 46. They're really struggling now as this crowd is going absolutely insane. They go with the run. We're shaking bank room. Ball is loose. Fumble. And he's taken down. Kansas State calls a timeout. Kansas comes out of the shotgun. Watch out for this impact defensive end. Thomas gets another hand up. And he's drilled. Kansas State takes a timeout. Third down and 12. Ball right around midfield. Hands it in a four-wide set. Bean drops back to pass. He's looking. Down the middle. And he's tackled. He made the catch, and they're still going to be short. Hey, if you would have gotten some yards on first and second down, you wouldn't have needed so many on third down. State lines up in a dime defense here. Kansas State calls a timeout. The defense lines up with six DB. Drops back to pass. Steps up. Wants to throw outside. Incomplete pass. They stop them on fourth down. You talk about huge plays. This defense stood tall and shut them down. They'll set up shot at the 37-yard line. They'll bring in their dime package. Throws it to the outside. The ball is tipped. The defense needed that one. How about the move here by this cornerback? Great play that time, getting a hand on the football. Second and 10. Ball on their own 37. The impact corner is in the zone right now and looking to take away half the field. He's knocked out of bounds. 
And the completion nets him very little yardage. Coach, what's up with that play? I'll tell you, those defenders crashed in and got him in a hurry. No chance to get anything there. Just a minute remains in this football game. They line up in an eye. Back to pass. Looking, rolling out to the right side. And it's caught. And they make the stop. He made the catch, but he didn't get the first down. Well, yeah, right now, the way this defense is swarming, there's just no room for him to get upfield for the first down. They're lining up in the 5-2. He's going right. And it's incomplete. The defense stopped him. That fourth down play was very important as far as the big Mo is concerned. Now they have momentum on their side. Go for it. They'll get the ball here at the 44. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. And he takes a knee. It's second down and 12 to go. Ball on the 46. Kansas is about ready to celebrate a big victory here. And that's the end of the game. Any final thoughts on this one, Coach? This is why I'm up here with you guys. Coaching a game like this might give you a heart attack. Kansas really got all they asked for and more in this contest. Great job by both teams. The fine that's folks the at EA Sports, game. thank you for the tuning in to this contest Kansas. of NCAA Football 2006. The final score, Kansas 14, Kansas State 13. For Lee Corso...